the calendar had delayed a bit and uh, as we put out information much earlier during the break we needed to get it right in a number of uh, ways in the first place we had just come out of covid and uh, our entire academic calendar was distracted and our view is that within a certain period we should be able to go back to the regular times that we were doing our academic programs that is starting the academic year in september october and then finishing in june july and to do that means you have to draw a calendar that transits beyond a year so for the first semester they will be in school from 18th january to june 9. however they will have a semester break from 12th april to 18th april as part of the committee's work we also invited heads of schools and other stakeholders and we shared with them and they also gave us their input so this is something that we have run by um let me say some of our stake, key stakeholders and they are all um they've all looked at it and they are all in tune with what we have done so they're going to have a semester program which will run two semesters but four sessions what it means is that they will have their main semester break and then they will have mid semester breaks fortunately for us government through the get fund has provided enough infrastructure for us to begin the phasing out of the